This is the red-handed howler monkey, or the... Alwa de Belzebul. He's a skinny legend clocking in at about 15 pounds. It might be a good idea to hit the gym. Basically, the red-handed howler monkey looks like what you would expect a monkey to look like, with black fur all around its body, red fur covering its hand and feet, and a bare face. They also have a long tail that curls that could be used for balance in the canopies of trees. Their tails are strong enough to support their whole body weight, except they don't use it all that often since they're dumb as rocks. Their tails can be used to grip, are predominantly covered with black fur, and a red tip. Just the tip. If you ever feel like someone stole your belongings in Amazonian Brazil and or areas in the Atlantic Forest region, here's a map if you're as confused as I am. You can blame the red-handed howler since they're always caught red-handed. The red-handed howler monkey and us humans both have something called a hyoid bone in our mouths. The difference? Their bone is large and calcified, allowing them to be loud as <laughs> Let us compare the size of their mouths to our very own Alice, who has an abnormally small mouth. Along with the hyoid bone, our pals also have deep jaws and an enlarged larynx that allows their characteristic howls. Their howls, which are really more like grunts, barks, or roars, are used for extra-group and intra-group communication. Take a listen for yourself. <laughs> Extra group communication includes mate attraction and defensive measures. The Alwa de Belzebul doesn't have many predators, but they have been known to use intra group communication to alert their friends of danger. The monkeys react to aerial predators by giving a warning burp to members of their troops. Watch your manners, buddy! The howl indicates that the troops should descend from the trees and disperse, remaining still and silent until the predator has flown by. You might recognize the look of howler monkeys in the midst of their excessively loud calls from your favorite social media app. If I were a howler monkey, I'd sue Snapchat for stealing my look. There is only one genus of New World monkeys, the Alwada, that has fully trichromatic vision, meaning they have red, green, and blue color vision just like us humans. This is quite uncommon due to the fact that all New World monkeys possess a fully functional vomeronasal organ, or VNO. A VNO is used in the perception of pheromones. Scientists thought the VNO was absent in creatures with fully trichromatic vision because they thought either fully trichromatic vision or the use of pheromones would be sufficient alone to detect cues about the environment or the readiness of possible mates to ban. The Alwada are proving all those dumb scientists wrong with its ability to perceive the environment with both color vision and pheromone detection. Suck it, scientists! The howler monkey is a territorial creature. Howling sessions are most active in the morning amongst entire social groups. Howling sessions can also occur at night and are answered by males in other groups to make sure that neither group is encroaching on the other's territory, otherwise known as the howler monkey's rendition of MTV Cribs, but in this case, bruh, stay out of my crib. Considering that the red-handed howler lives for about 20 to 22 years, it's not creepy that males and females would start making eyes at each other around age 4 to 5. They are polygamous creatures that can't keep their hands to themselves. Horny bastards. There are two breeding seasons per year, and mothers tend to give birth to only one baby monkey at a time. Sorry to all the twins out there. These monkeys like to eat like your typical vegetarian, a heck ton of leaves. But keep in mind, they only like their leaves young. The older the leaves, the more indigestible it is for them. Red-handed howler monkeys also eat figs and bark to spice things up during rainy seasons, making them the most frugivorous howler monkeys. But in general, they have the palate of an 80-year-old woman. Tired of leaves? Say no more. These busters will eat soil too. Literally. They will eat dirt, but only during the dry season, when young leaves aren't as plentiful. The soil is full of calcium, sodium, and organic carbon. Maybe we should be eating dirt too? Food for thought. It's unclear whether these monkeys eat soil for nutrients during periods of dry spells or to help make the poisonous mature leaves go down better. Either way, that's gross. Our favorite topic of the day. Poop! What goes in must come out. Howler monkeys bond through group defecation, which is exactly what it sounds like. They will gather and literally poop together. The best way to bond in our personal opinion. Grab your pals and hit the pooper for your next night out. The red-handed howler's poop contains partially digested seeds and disperses them throughout the ecosystem. This is shit you should care about. Our dear friend is considered a vulnerable population, right between endangered and near-threatened. They have had a 30% decline in population over the last three generations. 
Fortunately, these cuties are dietary generalists. Remember, they eat dirt and are excellent at adapting to changes in the environment. Nevertheless, we have to be mindful of the environment if we want to keep blaming things on these red-handed thieves in the future.